This is the E-Hot Cafe PRB717 White. In the box, we have all the tools we will need. And then we actually have the mount. box comes with instructions. Uh, there are three sets of different screws or bolts. Um, there are four sets of spacers. It comes with the Allen wrench, the extenders, a couple more screws, and the wall mounts. They're all easily labeled A through N. In the instructions, it says exactly which letter to use for the tool. This one is a specialty model just because it is flush to the ceiling. Um, you don't need the extension column, uh, which is good for your lower ceilings. To install the PRB717, first thing you must do is use a beam finder to find the beam in the wall. Uh, that way you're not drilling into any electrical outlets or electrical wires that may already be up there. The tools that you'll need for installation are a level, measuring tape, a Phillips head screwdriver, pencil, socket wrenches, and a drill with a couple different drill bits that we'll go over a little bit later. First step to install, um, the easiest way that to do it is just use the quick release here, just unscrew it. When you have that, you have the top piece already. That way that's the only thing that you need when you are installing it. You need your pencil. When installing the EHOT CAFE 717 model, first thing you want to do is make sure you put it in the center of the projector. Make sure you line up the screws to where they need to be screwed in. Depending on the size of your projector, you might need to use the adjustments and extenders that come provided in the box. When you're putting it on here, make sure it's in the center of the projector so that way it's the center of the gravity. Find, adjust these to find where your projector mounts will go where to screw them in. When you have them on there, you can use the Allen wrench and tighten up all the little screws using the wrench. Once you have that done, you can put the other screws in and the spacers, which I'll show you in a second. Once you have the EHOP CAFE 717 adjustments and extensions done, you're going to have to put the spacers on. For the G spacer, there's a little top part that's going to go right in there and it's going to fit in there so that it doesn't move. Before that, you'll put one little one on, depending on the size of your projector, and put it on there. Then you'll screw it on with one of the screws provided. Once you have the spacers on here, all that's left to do is just go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way that needs to be. The finished product for the EHOT Cafe 717 should look something just like this. Once you get the projector installed onto your mount, it has a 60 degree rotation, has about a 20 plus or minus degree pitch, and a 20 degree plus or minus roll. When you're setting it up to your screen, make sure that you adjust that for whatever needs you may need. The EHOT CAFE 717 comes equipped with a quick release screw. All you have to do is unscrew it to perform any maintenance needs and the ceiling mount will stay on the ceiling.